uh, don't tell my wife, okay? This is just between us. So the wife and I bought this shed just a few weeks ago and there's no power going out to it and we want to have lights inside. It's very dark in here. So what I've done is I bought a solar light and I'm going to show you how I install it. This right here is the solar light. Um, this is fab style. I got it off of Amazon. It was really one of the cheapest ones that they had. Uh, and then you'll look here has this funky little connector here so if you get one it's like 30 bucks if you get two lights it's 50 bucks and uh then you got the solar power charger this right here is solar power charger and it just screws in and this right here is the connector now the problem is is that it has this connector that needs to be drilled through this and it's so big i'm having to use a half inch drill bit so that's going to be challenging one of the other air issues with this is that we have trees all over the place crazy meaning that there's only one spot in this whole freaking area that gets light in the morning all the way to about noon one o'clock and then after that it's gone so this is my only area right there I can put the the little um, charger there and from by doing that you'll get enough charge to use this as much as we're going to use it. Man that is a giant honking drill bit. Half inch barely fit in the drill. So we're going to drill right here into the very corner. And I'm going to have to do this um, without the aid of the camera because I'm working by myself and this is very precarious where I'm at. Correction, I can't go in there. I've got to come up up here because there is a piece of decorative border running this way and I was drilling into that. So I'll have to fill that up with some wood glue and the rest of those shavings and go up above this. Okay, we're through. You can see that hole over there, so I've got my wood glue. We'll pack it in. Uh, don't tell my wife, okay? This is just between us. Eh, some wood glue, a little packing. She'll never know. Never happened. Hmm. You can see the hole right up there, just almost perfectly in the corner, just a little bit over, and it'd been absolutely perfect. Um, I was using my cell phone as a measuring guide because, you know, totally professional operation here. Now I climb the ladder of death and go up there and run this through and set the uh, actual charger of the solar panel. Uh, next on the agenda will be trying to find a solar powered air conditioner because Florida, oh my God, 80 degrees and almost November. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it kind of like this. And so that means this has got to go through that hole there. And then I'll need some um, caulk for that as well. And I'll uh, fill that hole in so it won't look that bad. Um, try to keep all the little booger boos out of here. I'm actually gonna have to enlarge this hole. Now this will go in perfectly no problems but the people's republic of china they figure well why don't we mess up the americans life by making this bigger than a half inch bigger than what a drill would do so i've got to waller this out some to get this little piece of crap through that hole thank you very much china success we're finally in look how big of a hole needed for such a small wire there's no reason why they couldn't make a connector that was a little bit smaller all right, so what I'm going to do next is, because I don't have somebody here helping me to feed this line through, I'm going to go ahead and mark the two holes on the bracket with the marker right here, and then drill pilot holes. Then I'm going to take the ladder, go back inside, and feed this through. So I can take the ladder again, come back out here, caulk this up, put in the screws, um, and mount the system and in the meantime at least 
five, maybe six times, drop my cordless drill into the dirt because that's how we roll. So, yeah. Two pilot holes are drilled now. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Um, just realized that the charger, the solar panel is connected this wire and I can't have it flopping out around here. So I've actually got to run the line through first and then I'll do all that. So we're, we're having to change game plan. There we are, not too bad. And then what we'll do is fill this with silicone best we can. Yeah, the end busted off silicone. So <laughs> yeah, I got that on my hands now. That's good. All right, after soaking my hand in various solvents that are not approved for that application, my hands are clean. Time to screw this in place. You guys drop the screws when you're trying to put this in place by yourself. All righty, so what I did is I snaked the line through, ran it through here to the center, hung it over, now we got to put this hanging down. So this is our light and the way it works, I can only do it this way. So that means that the little pivotal arm things that you have when you move it, it only goes this way. It doesn't go in other directions. And so it, because it doesn't have a multi-directional head, you can't use this in a multi-directional fashion. And because this is way too far over from the support beam that I'm hanging this from, uh, I'm limited in how I can turn it. So that's a design flaw right there. Okay, I've got two um, holes marked here. And I'm going to go ahead and set my um, pilot holes and start drilling into it. I just finished screwing these in and it'll be about done. Yay! Alright, so it's screwed in now. This is some cheap plastic, so it will bend, 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 but don't worry. Uh, this shouldn't be touching anything. If it's outside, I might be concerned, but it's inside. Nobody's going to be messing with it. So it should be fine. Now we'll make the connection from here to the other, and we'll be good. So the plug-ins here, what they do is they just fit in together and then you just screw in this cap over it and that holds it in place. And then I wrapped it around a few times around here so that if this ever was to break right here, because this is pretty sway, um, then it will um, actually not actually come down. One thing I will say is that where they've got that area to be screwed into the bracket or to the the rafter right there, it is very difficult to find a screwdriver that will fit in there. Uh, you can't really get an electric screwdriver in there, hard to get a, any size screwdriver in there and work your hands. It is very difficult. Um, luckily I had a little ratchet screwdriver and that's the only way I could do it is that it was like a little ratchet wrench thing and it was, it's a piece of junk screwdriver but it's the only thing that would work. So I had to use a Chinese made tool to make to put in a Chinese product. Oh well. So with this, I have to use a um, a special remote. So I'm gonna do four. So. Hmm. Here we go. Working. I just set it for 45 second motion sensor light. So there we go. All right, looks a little dim cause it's still daylight um, outside. It's about five o'clock. But as you go in, you can tell plenty of light to see around, do what you need to do. Um, again, we won't be in here much at night, but if we are in here at night, we, we got it. But even in daytime, this just gives you a little extra light. Yeah, for right now, it seems to be working. Seems to be doing good. I mean, it's a cheap light. I mean, expect that. You're getting a cheap light. But if you're just needing some light, you're really not expecting too much. You know, 30 bucks. Could pay by enough, enough 20, 30 bucks and get two lights. But I mean, really and truly, that ain't that bad. Not really. 
when you don't even have to worry about, and say I'm fixing to wave my hands right now. There we are. So, I mean, that ain't bad. 45 seconds, you can wave your hands, it'll pick you up. That's, it's really not that bad for what you're paying for. And I'm not having to run electricity, so I don't have to worry about the shed burning down if it gets struck by lightning. So it's been about, I'd say, a two-week time period since I installed the light. And right now I'm standing in my shed underneath the light. Let's move out a little bit and you can see it does give a pretty good amount of light. I can't complain about that. Uh, definitely when I get under it, it's brighter. Uh, as we get in the back, it's darker, of course. I would say that it's doing its job. I can't complain one bit about that. Uh, what I would say is that I wish that we had just more than the one light up here. Uh, they sell them in two. I would say go ahead get two. Uh, I think I would be happier if I had gotten two. And I may end up doing that. I may end up seeing if I can kind of split them and get, do two. I don't know how they're going to do that. Uh, some issues that I have with it. I don't like that little fitting connector that we saw. It's too big. They had it where it was soldered in and it was all plastic stuff. And I hate anything that's got soldering with plastic. I'm the world's worst at that. Try and get where we don't have, got some good light. I I don't like the head on it where it's only going one direction. I wish I had a multi-directional head. It is cheaply built. I if it lasts a year, I'll be impressed. However, if you'll remember the solar powered spotlight that I did, the motion censored spotlight, uh it's still there. It's still working. I can't complain about it. The wife is happy with it because she's got some light in here. She's like, we're not in here all the time. We're not doing a lot of work. We don't need a lot of light. I get it. I, I am getting older. I'm having problems with my eyes from the wreck. And this is the other thing I don't like. So you have to get right under the light to hit it. So uh, if I have multiple lights, at least when one went out, I could just do something like that and it, you know, it would work. But I would say that for the value, it's worth it. Is it cheap Chinese made garbage? Yes, but it's functional. And that's... That's the difference. I think people that we're used to just saying, oh, it's cheap Chinese made garbage, as in totally not functional. It is functional. It is not as well built as I would like. It has got a lot less features than I would like. Like I said, the multi-directional head, um, the way I can mount it in multiple different directions, I, you know, I can always cut a piece of wood and put it in the right direction that I want it, but then I can't move it in other directions. So having a multi-directional head would solve a lot of problems. Uh, that connector, I really don't like that connector. I can probably splice in and do some other stuff, but the charger is really, really small. So I don't know how many lights you could run off of that charger, even though they are LED. I have not tested this light to see how long it stays on. So, I mean, I might find that after a few hours, it's just too damn to use. I haven't noticed that so far. Just working out in here, it does fine. So, there's that. The, you know, it's it's doing what we need. We don't have a lot of light like I talked about we got a ton of trees now we're gonna have more light in the winter as the oak leaves fall off 
But in the summertime, that's really going to be the true test. Now, they do talk about that heat impacts it. So Florida heat, I really don't know. Florida, they talk about moisture and heat being really bad, even though it's supposed to be waterproof. Okay. Florida's really wet in the winter. Uh, we get a lot of sporadic rain in the summertime, even though we're drier in the summertime than we are in the winter. But we still get a ton of rain no matter what. Uh, heat, I mean, good God, we was we had heat indexes 115, 120. Again, I hate that motion thing. Uh, but it is what it is. So it is... It is good. It is good for what it's for. I don't have to run electricity to the shed. I do have no electricity in the sheds whatsoever and still have, you know, a light and things of that nature. So I'm really happy with that. I think it is good for what it's doing. Uh, could it be better? Absolutely. But I mean, you're going to pay for better, and to tell you the truth, 50 bucks for two lights wouldn't be bad. You know, after taxes and everything, even if, even if it was 70 bucks, that's still not bad. Uh, it could be improved, yes, but everything can be improved upon. But yeah, that's, that's my review of this. You know, there's probably one company in China that's making it for a bunch of people. I've noticed that with some of these action cameras and other products that they'll they'll be a main company. And from what I understand, it's like government approved. So it's like a government approved company and they'll say, oh, this is the I whatever. And then everybody else from there uh, just kind of buys it and sells it. Okay. So take it to heart if you buy one if you see this model and it looks like this but it's a different company it's probably all made by the same people if not they're copycatting off each other because it's common in Chinese culture to copycat they don't have the laws like we have in Western society so they don't they don't see copycatting as a bad thing necessarily uh, whereas in America we see that as a crime um, or at least in poor taste so if if you buy from one or you know if it's cheaper you don't have to buy this brand I'm just reviewing this brand because it's the cheapest one I found at the time uh, but yeah I mean I can't complain you know it is what it is I hope you like this uh, review and install video I haven't really done a install and review uh, if you want to see a review like a year later or something, though, let me know. Uh, put that in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you want to see me review some other items, uh, I would love to hear that. Just let me know. Uh, naturally, it's based off of how much I can afford because nobody is sponsoring me right now. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. I know that seems like a far away period of time, but it takes a while to get that many subscribers. Uh, so if you haven't hit subscribe, go ahead and do that. It's free. I really would appreciate it. Uh, like, like I said, comment down below. I love hearing that. It really helps the channel as well. And with that, I guess I'll see you again next time. Bye.